I'm Sarah Gore and this is Open House. This week we are shining the spotlight on some luxurious homes on the market, including tips from these experts on how to style your home for the sale. And you're not going to want to miss this Malibu estate filled with bespoke details every step of the way. This design tandem gives us a look inside a modern take on the Brooklyn townhouse. And we're with Christine Quinn, one of the stars of the Netflix hit Selling Sunset at one of her newest listings. But before all of that, I explore this amazing example of luxurious loft living right here in Tribeca. Oh, surprise oh. reveal. <laughs> Welcome to Open House, everyone. This week, we are shining the spotlight on the luxury market in New York and beyond. So it's only fitting that today I am coming to you from this gloriously renovated loft in Tribeca. But instead of having me tell you about it, let's join Agent Francis Katzen for a closer look. Francis, what do you have to show me today? Hi, Sarah. It's pretty special. Yeah, it 140 is. Franklin Penthouse C. 4,000 square feet, understated, elegant, classic. Massive outdoor, duplex, you gotta check it out. I mean, everyone wants outdoor space right now, right? Uh, yeah. And I love that we're calling this understated, but you know, <laughs> let's, let's, let's go, go take a look. look. <laughs> This building was built in 1887. The architect was Albert Wagner, and now it's this four bedroom, sprawling four and a half bathroom. Oh my gosh, if you're gonna be living in New York, you want sprawling in the title, right? Completely. <laughs> and just coming around the corner, I can see the light that's coming through here. It really is. Oh, surprise oh. reveal. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at all this light in this space, in this room. This is where it's all happening and what it's all about. These skylights really set it apart. And you have three setups here without any issue, right? But what's beautiful is that you have a real wood-burning fireplace right here where yeah. you can actually sit and hang. And then you have another sitting area if you just want to collect and play a game. And then you have dining, which is really convenient off this area here. And all of that is connected to the kitchen, which is what I love in a house because I'm always in the kitchen, I'm always cooking, and so I like to be able to mingle with my guests while you're entertaining. So let's go see what the kitchen has to offer. Let's do it. Oh, I love these columns. These must be original. They are actually from yeah. 1887. They really do set the stage, don't they? They do. That's like, that's the history that you're missing in these newer buildings. Yeah, the story it tells. Okay, so let's talk about this kitchen. I love a big stove. Great range. You have waxed oak cabinets. You have beautiful poured concrete, 150 bottle wine refrigeration these curated custom cabinets, which I love. It's not cookie cutter in it any way. It is not, and I think that's what makes it so unique. One of a kind is really a special thing. I think when you live in a city like New York, you're looking for a place like this that has a lot of space that you can create your own sanctuary and kind of get away from it all, right? No question. I think in such an intense town, people really want a place to just decompress. And what a better place to do it than with a wood-burning fireplace and a fantastic couch to lounge say, on. This couch is very inviting. We I must know. try. Already? Uh, <laughs> that's a great couch. These are amazing stairs. I know, right? <laughs> Sculpture, really. They're so cool. It's like a, a kind of an art installation that's functional. <laughs> oh, I love this. Isn't this great? <gasps> wow. Okay, so this is amazing. Yep, this is pretty much what sets it apart, yeah. in my opinion. And yeah. you have this really great angled skylight that services light to downstairs and creates a great backdrop. Wow, yeah, I love this. It's great, right? Yeah. No, so you have privacy, but you also have open. And then you have a sitting area, yeah. grill and dining. And you can't forget the swing. You gotta so have a swing. Gotta have the swing. Yeah. But this is where my heart lies, right here in this section here. I would the be eating here. dining station. Totally. Yeah. Every day of the week, I'd be here. And then the backdrop is really great to have south-facing exposure that gives you a little bit of history, and then also some of the more grand, ground-up new construction. So it's just a really special space amongst it all. It really is. Everything you need is right here. I love it. Francis, thank you so much for the tour today. I enjoyed every minute of it. It was such a pleasure showing you around today. Thank you for coming. Yeah, well, I'm not really ready to go yet. Can I stick around? 
My listing is now your listing, Sarah. Enjoy. <laughs> Good to know. I'm going to hold you to it. All right. Coming up in just a few, we are in Beverly Hills with Christine Quinn, one of the stars of the Netflix hit Selling Sunset. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now we're in Beverly Hills with Christine Quinn, one of the stars of the Netflix hit Selling Sunset. She shows us around this Spanish revival estate filled with gorgeous details inside and out. It's a private and luxurious hideaway that makes you feel like you've truly left the bustle of Los Angeles behind. Take it away, Christine. Hey guys, my name is Christine Quinn and I'm so excited to be here today. I am from Selling Sunset and today I'm gonna to be showing you this gorgeous property at 9308 Reedcrest in Beverly Hills. Today we're gonna to be seeing gorgeous views, plush interior decoration, original 1922 tiles and wood beam ceilings, gorgeous light, and just overall a really, really charming home. So I'm excited, let's go take a look. So this living room I absolutely love. You have gorgeous original windows from 1922, floor to ceiling light, just this gorgeous abundance of light flowing through. I can't get enough of it. I just wanna sit here every morning. Also the wood beams are original as well and it just makes the home feel cozy and nice and it's, it's kind of rare and I love it. So. Behind the living room, there's a really great space for entertaining your guests if you want to continue to take the party upstairs. You have a formal seating area indoor and outside as well. So you can barbecue, serve drinks to your guests. Also goes to the right as well. So you see another outdoor terrace overlooking the front yard. So this property really is all encompassing that entertainment charming feel of Old Hollywood. And also I love food because I am pregnant and that reminds me that this kitchen is amazing and I wanna show you guys. We are in my favorite spot in the whole entire house. And this is something that is done really well. They have this huge island for cooking, dual sinks, which I absolutely love, and chef grade Thermador appliances. As you can tell, they've updated it with the travertine stone, but still kept it this original 1922 feel, which I really, really love. It's, it's hard to find homes that are Spanish revivals, that are modern and updated and done well. And this home has just done a fantastic job with that. Right now we are in the kids room, which is absolutely adorable. What they did is they converted this into a little office space where the kids can study. There's two separate desks in addition to the two beds. And I love all the light that's pouring in here. It's just so cute. We are in the primary suite right now. And the thing that I absolutely love about this property and the suite especially is that they kept the original from 1922 and I just think it's so cool it once again adds to this Hollywood charm of the property so this is a nice little bonus room which I love this is a sitting area it's great for reading a book having your coffee and who doesn't love to open up these beautiful French doors and take in the California breeze and this amazing weather that we have to offer All right, well, that's all we have time for today, but thank you so much for joining us. I hope you love this beautiful property as much as I did. Take care. Don't go anywhere because after the break, we are at this modern interpretation of a Brooklyn townhouse. Welcome back. Townhouses are one of the icons of New York real estate, right? And Brooklyn has some of the most amazing examples. Now we're with Eric Galliana and his design partner, Joanna Tassini. They show off how they brought luxurious materials and warmth to this brand new build. Located on the corner of a tree-lined street, this six-bedroom, 6,500-square-foot 6 home is nothing less than a modern take on a Brooklyn classic. 
See for yourself. Hi, I'm Eric. And I'm Joanna, and we're partners in Interiors by Eric Galliana. Welcome to our latest project here in Brooklyn. This is a 22 foot wide corner townhouse. With five floors and wide open entertaining spaces. New developments can be cold and sterile, so our job was to make sure that this felt warm but modern. As soon as you walk into the parlor level, you're greeted by this welcoming living area. We created a focal point out of this fireplace using this beautiful tundra gray marble. You can just imagine cozying up with friends and family on a winter's day. One of the best features of this home is the floor to ceiling corner windows. They let in plenty of natural light. And are a great place to watch the neighborhood come to life. We give a little nod to addition with these gorgeous herringbone white oak floors that run throughout the entire parlor floor. This is a huge space with enough room for any occasion, big or small. And check out this powder room. I always tell my clients it's the most important room to get right because this is where your friends go to be alone and judge you. And this kitchen is a dream. Because it's open to the rest of the parlor floor, it was important that the kitchen really shine. One of the ways we achieved that was by choosing luxurious materials, like these Decton countertops. And walnut and lacquer cabinetry. And the natural light is truly amazing, with windows on three sides, including a retractable glass wall that opens onto this terrace. This bedroom is the epitome of luxury. Bright and ethereal, it was designed to make you feel like you're floating on a cloud. Check out this modern interpretation of the traditional casement windows. Those, along with the skylight, allow you to either bask in the morning sun or gaze at the evening sky. The custom walk-in closet and dressing room truly gives you a space for everything. And check out these knurled brass custom handles. And though you know I love fashion, this bathroom is really my favorite feature of this home. I know it's a cliche, but it really is like walking into a spa. It's all marble with a ceruced oak paneled wall and cabinetry. And the separate wet area features a soaking tub and five head shower. The accent wall features this textured marble and brass inlay. Which complements the rest of the brass fixtures. The next floor is currently configured as the kids' zone, with three spacious bedrooms. And if you don't have any kids, invite all your friends. There's plenty of room, but they may never want to leave. Especially when they get up to the penthouse level. Which we designed to be one of the best bars in Brooklyn. It's perfect for happy hour after wrapping up in your home office. We use this Mykonos blue cabinetry combined with walnut to make you really feel like you're on vacation up here. And when you open the doors to both terraces, it's a true entertainer's paradise in the middle of the city. We really hope you enjoyed taking a look at our modern take on the traditional Brooklyn townhouse. Thanks so much for coming. Coming up in just a few, we are in Malibu at this serene retreat with original details, vintage furnishings, and an Airstream. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now we're in Malibu at this beautiful redesigned hillside estate. Designer Philip Nowry brought in his love of vintage furnishings, honest materials, and timeless design. The result is a home that inspires both creativity and serenity in equal measure. Hi, I'm Philip Nowry and I'm the designer of this home. I call this home the artist's home. Try to give the feeling of living in a, what they call in France, a maison d'artiste. Decided I love what is rare and old, and I become a designer and uh, a vintage pieces expert. And that's what I love the most right now, and that's what I'm in, it's just home. And speaking of home, let me show you what I did with this one. This home is all about flow. Everything is indoor, outdoor, and very easy to live. The entrance are four what they call spider legs, so I keep the original spider leg and change also the bridge to a Brazilian exotic wood instead. The main thing was to change all the door in front to glass to captive the ocean view. But because the bone was so good, 
I just took everything back who feel like 1960s and stained only four palette colors. The gray, the black, the orc and the white. The white orc is actually all the wood accent on the stair. The ceiling we have the beam, we put in like a dark ebony. So it was all try to balance the right amount of color. When you're down the stair, you have the living room, who is the perfect room to hang out, watch TV, read a book. I had some more window, I had the oak wood panel, and I did this small bookshelf all around the oak panel. So it looks like a library. When you design a house, you have to be timeless. And keeping with the timeless team, you have original stone fireplace. You can relax and sit, and it's just quite nice. If you're following the beam, you end up into the kitchen, and most of the kitchen is white oak because it's really the color was used in the mid-century home. We did the countertop in scissor stone concrete, so it's all earthy and natural. I'm French and I love to cook, so for me it was very important to have a very functional kitchen that you can walk around and cook freely and look at the ocean. And because nature is so important to this house, you're gonna love what I did in the primary bedroom. The back wall repeats the tone and groove of the library. The actual primary bedroom baths are all Brazilian exotic wood who continue outdoor to the decking. And also outdoor, you have your own private garden with 100 years old olive tree. And we have this mid-century chair by Cleo Balden. You feel like you're in a different universe, kind of a, your own sanctuary. The whole landscaping was really uh, based on the movement with the wind. I wanted to enjoy when, when the wind blew everywhere. It was really uh, important for me to have this all this low deer grass and the green with the blue was a very good palette combination that had a little bit of a museum feeling. I feel like it's floating over there and it belongs there, almost like natural to the landscaping. Of course, my little joy is my airstream. We take this airstream and design it the way the house was. Took the same material, the stone concrete floor and the oak wood. It was just, came out nice. When you look at the house, it looks majestic. I mean, you can sit here forever and it will never change. It's all part of the nature and design. Thank you for you guys to come to see this home and see you soon. Au revoir and à bientôt. Coming up in just a few, these design experts show you what it takes to stage your home for the sell. Welcome back everyone. Now we're in the Flatiron District with design partners Yvette Rios and Christy Farrelly. They explain how to design a home for the sell so that it feels universal yet unique. The result is this chic and inviting three bedroom loft. Take a look. Hi, I'm Christy Farrelly of Interior Styling Inc. And I'm Yvette Rios. Welcome to our recently staged project in the Flatiron District. Every staging is unique. And here we've mixed some of our high-end pieces with our budget-friendly pieces, and we can't wait to show it to you. When you step right out of the elevator, you're in the middle of the dining space. The first thing we did was put up these huge mirrors, and mirrors are such a simple way to make a space seem light and bright and open. When you're coming into a space, you don't want to hit a sharp corner, so an elliptical table just sort of softens the area. I love these wishbone chairs, they're so fun. And then we just put in a simple built-in to create the look of a console that looks like it was custom made, but actually is pretty inexpensive. And that just finishes off the dining area and makes it look really high-end. Part of what staging is, is accentuating the positive. So one of the great features of this apartment is the fireplace, and so we wanted to accentuate it with some really pretty art. In the living room, you'll notice these really great oversized windows, which it's really hard to get standard drapery for windows like this. We custom cut all of the fabric to soften the windows and the walls a little bit. I love this room. You have multiple conversation areas with multiple coffee tables, and it's just a fun, open space. We wanted a potential buyer to walk in and really envision themselves living here. When we're staging an apartment, we're not only selling the space, we're selling a lifestyle. 
And that's why we chose neutral sculptural pieces to make the place seem tied together, light, bright, and serene, and universal so everyone could see themselves living here. Exactly. We hope you enjoyed taking a look. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?